The American Eagles won the Patriot League Championship a year ago behind the player of the year, Emily Kiniston. Now without the graduated senior, there will certainly be a bit of a different look as league play opens up on January 3rd. The results, however, could easily be the same. Tournament MVP Cecily Carl is back along as are three other Eagles from that championship team who are currently averaging double digits in scoring. The sixth year head coach of the Eagles, Megan Jebbia, joins me now in the PLN studio. Coach, you begin your title defense with a road trip at the preseason favorite Bucknell. How can you use this early challenge in conference play to your advantage? Well, I just think our non-conference schedule is probably preparing us for what Bucknell has. Um, they're an awesome team this year. I've watched a little bit of their non-conference games and you know they pose a challenge because they have all five, uh, almost all five returners back that all can score. And so for us, it's really about us trying to figure out with the missing piece of Emily Kinnison and some of the other seniors, trying to figure out who fills those spots and then having a bench that supports those, those starters. So it'll be a tough road game, I know, to start, but it's always good to start with one of the opponents that you know will be the biggest challenge. One of the standouts in non-league play was junior guard Katie Moretti. Through nine starts, she's your leading scorer with 13.9 points after averaging 5.5 points last season. What's really developed in Moretti's game to allow her to play a bigger role? Uh, I think with Katie, uh, it's pressure. I kind of put a little pressure on her when she came back in the fall. And I just basically said, listen, you know, it's not all on your plate as far as fulfilling what we lost with Emily. But I said, all the guards coming back, you know, she has all the pieces to be able to put together great games. And she's been able to do that consistently for us. And, you know, it's funny because in the preseason, she was just doing okay with the scrimmages. And I'm thinking, oh no, <laughs> what's going to happen? But she, once games started, it was like something clicked for her. And she realized that, you know, hey, she, she can't give the ball to Emily to score now. She's got to be the one that looks to score a little bit more and she's handled it well and I just hope that she continues down this path. One of those really big scorers so far for you this season, senior guard Alina Koskimius has really gotten a lot stronger from beyond the arc throughout her career. She's hitting 45.9% of her long range shots nine games in. How does her range open your offense to get senior forward Cecily Carl going down low? Yeah, it's kind of interesting because Alina this year, we kind of had to change positions for her. So she's been playing guard and she is a guard. <laughs> Let me just start by saying that. Um, but we've moved her to the four spot because I feel like just kind of what you said of stretching the floor a little bit more and being that perimeter threat. And somebody like Alina has really improved every year she's been here. She's put a lot of time into it and I'm really proud of what she's been able to do. And, and for her, it was more of just like shooting. We would yell at her to shoot and she was passing up shots even last year. So for her to come out and just like bombs away and 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 embrace a different role um you know is is hard to do but she's willing to do whatever it takes for the team to win and i'm really happy that she's uh, she's kind of found her niche this year lastly i cannot leave without asking you about your christmas wardrobe for 2018 last year you were <laughs> courtside on the pln in this fantastic sweater with the holiday top hat <laughs> what do you have in store for us this year no, well, uh, we, we've actually talked about this. Um, <laughs> probably nothing for uh, the High Point game on December 20th, but we've talked about maybe having a New Year's outfit for the 29th uh, at home against Ohio U. So you might see some sparkles. I'm not really sure, um, but we're, we're definitely planning on something for the 29th. Cannot wait to see it. Thank you so much, Coach, for taking the time out to catch up with us. Good luck heading into league play. Thank you so much.